Hi, my name is Leia Litvin. I'm a psychologist and founder of PsyCAPS, a digital mental health application. And we have an evidence-based application in the iTunes Store right now. But we are working on a new project which includes gamification, artificial intelligence, and chat box, where we're trying to hack the brain's reward system to get people to intrinsically be motivated to stick to therapy. So my panel today, I was invited by Pete Trainer, who was the head of the pa panel, and it was a beautiful panel full of very interesting and very inspiring people. And we talked about how mental health and artificial intelligence actually works very well together, and how we need to talk about mental health more and lower the stigma and get it out there, and artificial intelligence could be a very good way to do that by finding behavioral patterns, by um, making the discourse, the social discourse about mental health a little bit more palatable for everybody. And um, it's, quite, it's quite like a buzzword right now, artificial intelligence. And when you match that with mental illness, people get really interested. So AI, or what we're using is machine learning, is very important because we can, it helps us understand behavioral patterns. And it helps us see things out of big data that we couldn't have seen without, or it would have taken as many, many years to work through and actually find and interpret. So artificial intelligence or machine learning really helps research regarding mental health. For example, AI at the moment is better at diagnos diagnosing um, schizophrenia or depression than actually a counselor or a, a therapist. I hope that people understand that artificial intelligence isn't just there to like, um, rule the world or to uh, advance entertainment, but we can actually use it and we must use it to help mental wellness, mental health and to fight mental illness. I think the most important part about Cognition X is bringing all these people together that are all working with the same tools more or less, but they're working on different areas of expertise and bringing them together because at the end of the day, disruption happens where two unlikely fields get together and they change the world. So I've been talking to someone who is in robotics today and I've been talking to people that are in the fintech business and maybe there are overlapping areas. For example, people didn't know that people with debt are more likely to actually have a mental illness. So there is a lot of potential there in bringing all these people together for artificial intelligence. Looking at the soy caps. That was it. one of the big questions is the causes. So every school of thought in psychology has like a different theory of where it comes from. You have the biology biological one like chemical imbalance or even uh, inflammation in the brain and then you have the cognitive like the, the way you think actually programs your brain to be depressed and I think all the data that we get can kind of nudge us in a direction of you know we have this big pool of ideas and hypothesis it can just make it smaller and smaller and maybe one day lead us towards the actual cause if there is a single cause but I'm guessing it's probably the influence of a lot of environmental and biological factors together so that maybe we can help influence those parts yeah. that we can and just you know make sure we're as healthy as possible. Yeah I like what he said also not to just concentrate on mental illness but on mental well-being on positive psychology and how you can make people healthier and keep them healthy and I like the idea also with the joy tech to see how can we bring joy to people's lives and make it like a common like the baseline to be at least positive yeah. um, I think that's very important and AI is doing huge steps in diagnosis by the way like they're overtaking um, counselors and therapists which I am a little bit ambiguous about but <laughs> they're much better at diagnosing, diagnosing things like depression schizophrenia than a person is Maybe in 10, 15 years we can do that, but right now we need people.